Hello and welcome. This is another random. Uh, this is basically only two two stores, uh, Target and 7-Eleven. Uh, I do have one from the Disney Movie Rewards Club that I didn't do uh, from one of the previous ones that I had. Forgot I got that from there. Anyway, to start that one off, this is the Blu-ray complete season one of Lego Star Wars the Freemaker Adventures so uh, nice uh, set here was, uh, just one just two yeah two disc set both blu-rays 13 total episodes that was from there then from Target, I had grabbed complete season two of the Lego Star Wars Freemaker Adventures on DVD because it did not come out on Blu-ray. I picked this up because I get a little bonus. Not to mention the slip sleeve. Uh, to the set. Pin. Do this in white. It's in, uh, 12 episodes for the second season. And I believe that was it. That's all they did. So there. Uh, another Disney st title. Uh, I grabbed, I think I paid like five bucks for it at Target, was Tower of Terror. I don't think these uh, were on Blu-ray, but for the price, it was, uh, I'm fine with it. No gray. And on to the Blu-rays. I don't know if I showed this in one of the other videos, because it was not, I had this put away. Uh, was the fanatic? Uh, did enjoy this movie. This was uh, good. I think it's a little underrated. Enjoyed the acting and the, the, the whole premise. Um, other than the way the celebrity acted, I think he went a little over on the way. I I would believe. And the actor would actually treat a fan a little, a little different. I've never had a bad instance with any celebrity I've met. I've met quite a few. Um, and then I picked up the Target exclusive packaging for the Joker. I like this packaging a lot better than the whole face. Um, I did watch this since I picked it up. Um, it was a very good story. I like the story driven. Uh, it was a bit slow, but uh, the way they were, you know, it's a standalone story. But I do like the way that the Waynes were in it and uh, kind of threw a little bit of stuff in there from Batman so you kind of had an idea. This is a, a, a really good movie. Then this one I picked up at Target as well was Batman Hush. I grabbed the steel book for this. Uh, it was a Target exclusive for the steel book. No. Uh, I have not watched this yet. Look at that. Really nice steel book. Uh, I have heard that this is a good uh, story. So I'm looking forward to watching this. Along with the rest of them that I have. Here. 
and I like getting these uh, plastic cases for uh, basically my steel books, just so they don't get scratched up sliding them in and out of uh, cases. I'm gonna get less scratched up sliding in and out of this and uh, rubbing up against others. Then I picked up Spider-Man Far From Home Target Exclusive. Uh, the Target Exclusive has been getting kind of lame. I'm, I mean, I, I prefer a bonus disc rather than the... I mean, this booklet's not even packaged in a digibook like the others. It's separate. I gotta try to keep track of it. So that's why I put it in this, so it doesn't fall out anywhere. It's kind of neat little uh, book. But like I said, these are, these have been around for a while and it's just, I hadn't had time to get to these, but uh, I do love the disc artwork on these. Very nice disc artwork. Let's see. Go here. Finish that up later. Picked up it with a slip sleeve. Some target. Kind of disappointing that this didn't come with a, either a DVD or a digital copy. Really chinsed out on that. And then Scott Pilgrim versus the World. I haven't seen this one either, but uh, I like the premise. I like the artwork on that disc. Pretty good. Now we go into the 7 Eleven haul. Pretty decent uh, pack of movies I got. Um, this here was actually my first 4K movie that I picked up. So right now I only have two 4Ks in my collection. And got this for $4 at 7-Eleven. was Suicide Squad. I mean, I already own the movie, but I figured for 4 bucks, doesn't hurt to have a 4K if I eventually move into that uh, area. And the other one was Attila. And I picked that one up because it had a 3D disc in it. That was the main reason I did that. Then I picked up Tarzan, which I already owned, but this was a 3D version. So, it was quite a bit of a 3D, I you know. And not much going on there. Bad, but the uh, Blu-ray, a 3D DVD, uh, 3D Blu-ray, Blu-ray, and was it? Yeah, yeah, 3D Blu-ray, Blu-ray, DVD. So a three disc set. Then I found. Pacific Rim in 3D. Uh, I had to take the one back because I found this one with the hologram slipcover on it. Actually, uh, I like that. Guy didn't know how to do a return on a unopened product. Pretty stupid. I guess uh, too busy worrying about making sales and not doing anything back. But anyway, so now this one was just because it was a 3D is the reason I bought it. Now I can get rid of my other one. Because the other one still has the same amount of discs, everything except for the 3D. Then another 3D one I picked up. 
Godzilla. And these were all uh, fairly cheap. I think I only paid maybe five bucks a piece for any of these 3D ones. And that was all the 3D ones I picked up at 7-Eleven. Uh, I picked up uh, Prince's Graffiti Bridge. Uh, I actually kind of like the purple case. Uh, I have not seen this one yet. Uh, I want to get Purple Rain. And I know that also comes in a purple case. So I was looking for that one. And I got here. Mom's Night Out. What could, what could we do wrong? Sarah Drew, Sean Austin, Patricia Heaton, and Trace Adkins. I don't think I paid $5 for this. I think I paid even less. Artwork on there. And I got me a combo pack here, which... Uh, one of them I actually picked up singly now. I think actually it was at a Dollar Tree run. And the other one I got on a DVD Dollar Tree run. But I have the Blu-ray here. Double is uh, The Campaign and Due Date. And they are both on single discs. So I'll be uh, switching that around into singles. This one here I had seen before. I actually enjoyed this movie. It was uh, Otis. There's some good 7-Eleven uh, finds lately. Um, and these finds were from the last uh, probably October, November, December. Uh, mainly October, November, I think, was uh, all the 7-Eleven that I picked up. Look at this. A little disco ball. And I picked up this Scooby Doo 1 and 2 collection. So I picked up a four pack from somewhere else and it had the first Scooby Doo in it. It had artwork on the disc where this one does not. I notice they do that once in a while. I got here is Tim Burton's Corpse Bride. Uh, this one here, I I don't think I've actually seen this one, but uh, I think at one of the Dollar Tree halls I got the uh, the remake, so I was glad to get the uh, the original Carrie, Sissy Spacek. Uh, first time I actually saw anything with Sissy Spacek was uh, a coal miner's daughter, Loritalin. When I was really big into country music, which I still enjoy country, but uh, my music taste changes, it fluctuates. So I, I appreciate music in general. And I got here is a uh, Detroit Rock City Kiss the Rules Goodbye. Uh, I had seen this before, I like these uh, kind of movies. Kids are trying to do stuff. And one of my all-time favorite movies, which I already have in a collection, but I went ahead and got this again anyway, just to have it on a single uh, case, is uh, Mel Brooks' Blazing Saddles. Um... It has the 1975 pilot episode of the proposed TV series, which is actually pretty good. I actually enjoyed the uh, pilot. Um, I don't remember if the one I got had the artwork on it or not in the uh, box set. 
and a double feature here. Kelly's Heroes and Where Eagles Dare. More classic. And they are both on their own disc, which is nice. So I'll probably end up splitting these two into uh, their own packages, find the artwork and print that out. Terminator Salvation, Christian Bale, Sam Worthington. I really haven't seen that many uh, Terminator movies after like the first two, but I've been picking them up and I end up watching them all at some point. I know uh, I've seen people in this new Dollar Tree haul as uh, T3, so definitely would like to grab that. I don't have it on Blu-ray. Uh, you got the director's cut on one disc and the theatrical version and special features on the other disc. And another National Lampoon. I think I only need one more to have all of uh, the Chevy Chase National Lampoon's uh, vacation. And this is a European vacation. Actually, no, I need the, the, the new remake with uh, the guy from, crap, I can't even remember the name of it. Starts with an H. Uh, with an a, a Hangover. He's from the Hangover, that I recall. That and plus another Chevy Chase one. And the last one I got from 7 Eleven was Scooby Doo Curse of the Speed Demon. Well, Scooby Doo and WW Curse of the Speed Demon. So this was kind of weird. I hadn't seen uh, any of the Blu ray Scooby Doo from 7 Eleven. artwork on those. The green actually looks pretty good on there. But that was uh, all my uh, haul for that. Now I've got two more full, which are going to probably be longer videos. Uh, one that's going to be a Big Lots and another is going to be a Goodwill. So as soon as I can get to those, I'll get those done and up and and then be able to start with Dollar Tree once I uh, start picking some stuff up. Thanks again, and talk to you soon.